Real Elizy, man. Good morning. What's good with y'all? What's good? What's good? What's good? Make sure you hit that thumbs up. You know what I'm saying? Make sure you hit them thumbs up. Make sure you share. Make sure you subscribe, man. You know what I'm saying? Hit that little bell. Hit that bell for your boy. You feel me? You can ring my bell. Ring my bell. Do, 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 do. <laughs> Rise and shine, man. What's good? You see that sun blaming on the nigga, man? But I ain't gonna drop my visor, though. It's good. It's good, man. You know what I'm saying? Early bird. Early bird get the worm, man. You know what I'm talking about? Anyway, I just wanna come on. You know what I'm saying? And just, you know, holler at y'all for a second. Spit some of that real. Um, I've been listening to a lot of different shit lately. You know what I'm saying? Uh, about, you know, Lakers shit. Uh, motherfucking Draymond Green shit. You know what I'm saying? All these other teams and shit. You know what I'm saying? Motherfuckers looking for head coaches. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's a lot of shit going on right now. A lot of different, you know, you know what I'm saying? Um, <clears throat> things to talk about. You feel me? But I just want to touch on what Draymond Green said. Draymond Green has been getting a lot of flack, right? In my opinion, the only reason that he gets so much heat, real talk, is because the way he the way he talks. You know what I'm saying? People don't like people who talk a lot and don't back up. You know what I'm saying? What they say. But you know what? A lot of motherfuckers do that. A lot of motherfuckers just be talking though. You know what I'm saying? But don't really be standing on. You know what I'm saying? They don't stand on nothing solid. You feel what I'm saying? It's easy to hate a motherfucker, but the hardest thing to do is really show a motherfucker love and respect, bro. That's the hardest thing to do in the world, is to show a motherfucker love and respect, because we've been taught to think that if a motherfucker don't act like you, a motherfucker don't talk like you, then he got to be an outcast. It got to be something wrong with him. You know what I'm saying? Oh, he don't fit in. That nigga, that nigga square. Nigga, that nigga a sucker. That nigga a bitch. So on and so forth. You feel what I'm saying? But a lot of niggas, I've noticed. You know what I'm saying? Even old, even some of these old school niggas, them niggas just be talking, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't understand why we feel the need. You know what I'm saying? just say shit just in order you know what I'm saying to to be validated by our peers we'll say some shit or do some shit just so your peers can go yeah man you right man hell yeah man you know what I'm saying hell yeah and we want that instant validation you know what I'm saying why you think all these women and shit wearing all this fake shit out here you know what I'm saying? Pay attention. Why the fuck you think all these chicks getting all these different surgeries, even the men? Niggas getting all these different surgeries and all this different shit, nigga. Why do you think, right, that all of this shit is happening? Do you think that shit would happen back in the day? Nah, nigga, they had that one little nigga hot comb, a pressing curl iron, nigga. Hey, boom, boom, throw a little bit of curl in your shit, straighten your motherfucking hair, nigga. That was it, bro. And a black woman created that, nigga. The press it iron, the press it curl, nigga. Keep it a hundred, brothers. Come on, bro. Those niggas really know some shit. But now, nigga, you're putting on eyelashes, you're putting on eyebrows, nigga. You're putting on lips, you're putting on noses, you're putting on motherfucking shoulders, you're putting on necks, nigga. You know what I'm talking about? You're putting on motherfucking whole head, nigga. Your whole motherfucking helmet, niggas putting on helmets. You know what I'm saying? Niggas putting on motherfucking titties, nigga. Getting the motherfucking pussies rejuvenated after the motherfucking King Kong, nigga, and ran up in your ass, nigga. You know what I'm talking about? In a, in a, in a, in a whole village. You know what I'm saying? 
nigga getting asses put on, nigga. Up out here, here looking like motherfucking like some, some crazy ass shit. You feel me? Come on, bro. Come on, bro. These hoes got coasters on their motherfucking ass, boy. I'm like, nigga, where the real, where the real shit at, bro? I need some real shit, cuz. Well, I don't need it, but, you know what I'm saying? It's a pleasant thing to see, cuz I got all the real shit, nigga, at the crib already. You feel what I'm saying? See, niggas still out here fucking with these ducks and shit, though. You know what I'm saying? These, these Aflac motherfuckers. Quack, 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 quack. You know what I'm saying? It's no real substance. No real substance. Nigga, it's just like to say whatever, do whatever. It's like, bro, where, where, bro, where are we going? Like, this is what we gonna teach the children and the next generation, nigga. Is that teaching them how to be kings and queens, bro? That's all I'm saying. It's okay to agree to disagree, nigga. What, what's wrong with that? It's okay. Just because I don't think like you and act like you, nigga, walk like you, talk like you, bro, that don't mean I gotta be all these hoes and bitches and, you know what I'm saying? And I'm not specifically talking to any one individual. But if the shoot fits, nigga, for sure, nigga, try to put that motherfucker on, nigga, at least try. You know what I'm saying? Unless you got a big ass foot, nigga, you need to get them custom Shaquille O'Neal and King Elijah Wan shoes made for you, nigga. You know what I'm saying? Period. You know, motherfucking. A Walmart shoe wearing motherfucker. I'm just saying, bro. What is really going on with our people to where we just lead motherfuckers down the wrong path, bro? All of that talking shit. And Draymond, this is Draymond too, nigga. The fuck is you talking about? You nigga, just because I think Draymond is a great role player and should be in the Hall of Fame, nigga. Nigga, that doesn't excuse some of the shit that he does, nigga, and says, bro. It's like, at the end of the day, it's a free country. But we come from an era, nigga, we're talking, nigga. That's the end all be all, nigga. It ain't about going out there, nigga, giving, nigga, putting in the work, nigga, and getting that shit out the mud. It's like, nigga, how can I defeat my opponent, nigga? How can I defeat my opponent by talking? And guess what? That's what the media is known for now, right? The media known for talking. Look at Stephen A. Smith. He made his career off of talking, nigga. You know what I'm saying? Nigga was trash. Nigga didn't back up none of that shit. That nigga can't dribble. He can't shoot. He can't pass. That nigga is a walking doodle stain, nigga. Period. But guess what he good at? Guess what he good at? But it seems like that's what the rest of us out here doing. You know what I'm saying? Everybody like to talk. Let's talk, bro. Let's talk. Niggas are scared to communicate with they bitch, nigga, with they wife, with they girlfriend, significant other, nigga, confidant, nigga, etc., etc., nigga. We, we can't motherfucking communicate and talk when we need to talk. But as soon as a nigga wants some validation and want to run their goddamn mouth, nigga, about a whole bunch of bullshit because they in their feelings and they don't like a certain thing that somebody said, so, nigga, fuck that, nigga, I need to say something, nigga. I, I hope everybody, you know what I'm saying, come along for the ride and agree with a motherfucker what we doing. Talking. <laughs> nigga, you feel me? Niggas are out here just talking, running their goddamn mouth. So instead of talking, bro, let your actions speak louder than your words. Everybody heard that before. Your actions should speak louder than your words. Be a vessel, be a blessing to other people, bro. And it don't have to necessarily be, you know what I'm saying, a monetary thing. It don't have to be a monetary thing. 
but niggas be out here, be the loudest in the room, nigga. Be the loudest in the room, right? Niggas be the loudest in the room, but be deaf. Pay attention. Niggas are the loudest in the room, but be deaf. Think about it. Think about what I'm saying. You're the loudest in the room, but deaf, nigga. Because we do so much talking that we not listening. You know what I'm saying? We want to be heard so bad that guess what? You're not listening to shit. Everything is about, hold on, wait a minute. What did he just say? And then actually break it down. You feel me? And then actually break it down. And then niggas be like, oh. Boom, 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 nigga, hell on, nigga, boom, boom. Hold on, wait a minute. Did you just hear what I said, nigga? I agree with what you said. See, niggas don't even listen to when a nigga is really trying to reason with you and agree with something. You feel me? <sighs> but we're all created equal, but in different you know what I'm saying? In a different vision. God gave everybody similar gifts. You know what I'm saying? But he created us differently. Uniquely the same, but different. If that makes sense. So I might not act like you. I might not talk like you. You feel what I'm saying? But that don't that doesn't exclude me from getting along with you. You feel what I'm saying? Because it might be some things that you can provide for me. You know what I'm saying? That'll help shape and make me a better individual. And it might be things that I can provide to you that'll help shape you and make you a better individual. You feel what I'm saying? But nowadays, niggas just want niggas that's just programmed to think and do and act. You know what I'm saying? How they want them to act. You feel what I'm saying? And that's crazy. That's crazy, bro. Real talk. Real fucking talk. Now, nigga, the old school motherfuckers coming out. We got this social media shit. Now the old school players want to come out, nigga. If that was me, nigga, back in the day, nigga, he would have got knocked out, nigga. I don't understand. Like, I don't... Like, you know what I'm saying? Why do all the talking, bro? Just be a fan of the sport. Because if niggas ain't gonna bust no grapes, bro, if you're not really gonna bust no grapes, bro, then what's all that talking? But what is that doing? I don't understand. You feel me? What is the talking doing? <sighs> See, this is me in a whole new era, bro. We in a whole new era where niggas like to floss and talk, bro. Period. <laughs> now, mind you, it's a lot of dumbass motherfuckers, too. They just be out there doing dumb shit for no reason. Because I want a little bit of motherfucking credibility. I want everybody to see me. I want motherfuckers to respect me. <laughs> That's not the way you go about getting respect, bro. You feel what I'm saying? <laughs> and I know motherfuckers, grandmas and aunties, moms and pops, and talk them better than that. Guess what? Everybody into the everybody in the flossing now, nigga. I wanna be I wanna be the man. I wanna be the man, nigga. Look, listen to me, nigga. Be like me, bro. You feel me? But it's no real substance to my friend, because you know why? A motherfucker is missing something. You know what I'm saying? That's why we seek validation from our peers. Because deep down inside. We have been through some shit that's so traumatic that it leaves a motherfucking big ass empty space deep down inside. And we don't really know how to cope with that. So we seek instant motherfucking, um, you know what I'm saying? Gratification from our peers. And we find gratification in motherfuckers liking us. You get what I'm saying? Motherfuckers have been molested. You know what I'm saying? Motherfuckers have been raped. Motherfuckers have been shot. 
You know what I'm saying? Motherfuckers have been jumped. Motherfuckers have been forced to do shit. Motherfuckers have been left. You know what I'm saying? And neglected. You know what I'm saying? In their adolescence. A whole bunch of different things that happen to motherfuckers. And everybody got a story. Everybody got a story. You get what I'm saying? But just because your story start like that, guess what? It don't got to end like that. That's not the end all be all. You know what I'm saying? Because what you go through and what you experience in life only makes you stronger. You feel what I'm saying? But how are you going to be a vessel to other people? How are you going to be a vessel to this world? Because you wasn't put on this world for self-gain and self-gratification, nigga. You know what I'm saying? God didn't put us on this earth for that, bro. God put us on this earth, nigga, to help build and help our people. You know what I'm saying? Love thy neighbor, nigga. Go help somebody else. You feel what I'm saying? But we so caught up in me, 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 me that we forgot about the bigger picture, nigga. This is not I am legend, motherfucker. Will Smith, nigga, you're not the only one on the motherfucking world right now, nigga. This ain't about you and your motherfucking dog. You know what I'm saying? Straight up. This is not about you and your dog, nigga. So that's what I'm just trying to explain to motherfuckers, bro. You know what I'm saying? I don't agree with all that dumb ass shit, though. But if we gon' if we gon' get shit about the mud, bro, we gotta be humble, bro. You know what I'm saying? We gotta be leaders. Just so because a motherfucker don't agree with a take or anything, that's fine, bro. We can keep it pushing, my nigga. All right, that's how you feel. Okay. Next talking point. Let's move on. I'm not gonna try to convince you wholeheartedly, nigga. That I'm right. This is it. This is it. This is it. And I've learned to. I'm learning that, bro. Because that's having a God complex. When you're trying to force what you believe and force your motherfucking ideologies and theories and different shit onto people to think like you. Like, you know what I'm saying? Then that you have a God complex, bro. You feel me? It's okay for you to think what you think based off of information given, nigga, and available. And it's okay to, for me to think how I think based off of information available, nigga. And we can make two different points. See, it's, at the end of the day, it's all about perspective. If one person has a perspective and another person got a perspective, that's just what it is. It's just a perspective, nigga. <laughs> that's all it is, is a perspective. I see one thing, you see another thing. But at the end of the day, nigga, we can meet in the middle. We can meet in the middle, bro. It's all on how you get to the middle, though. By the time niggas get to the middle, you know what I'm saying? They separated. Think about that. By the time you get to the middle, you're separated. That shouldn't happen like that. You know what I'm saying? That shouldn't happen like that. By the time you get to the motherfucking middle, you're separated. You know why? Because at the end of the day, you motherfuckers then went all out your way to just disrespect each other for no motherfucking apparent reason at all. Just because a motherfucker don't think like you and don't see, you know what I'm saying, and don't see, you know what I'm saying, some of the same things that you might have seen. So now by the time motherfuckers come together, now we didn't got to fight. We got to shoot each other. We got to do all of this dumb shit, nigga, just for us to come together. Now motherfuckers is Now motherfuckers is apologetic, regretful. You know what I'm saying? Now it's all about taking accountability. You feel me? Who you want to be, bro? That's all I'm saying. Don't try to be like the next motherfucker. Who do you want to be? Who do you think God created you to be? What's the purpose for your life? What's your destiny? You feel what I'm saying? Because everybody can't do it the same way. Everybody can't be out here just talking, nigga. Politicians do that. To get you to like them, what do they do? They talk. Do politicians ever, nigga, promise anything and, and actually follow up on that promise, nigga? No. Because guess what? They have no real power, nigga. It's the motherfuckers in those seats. You know what I'm saying? Behind them motherfucking desks in that room, nigga, they got all the power. 
politicians is just out there, nigga, to sell you a motherfucking dream, bro. And that's what niggas be doing is selling niggas dreams. Period, point blank. Everybody want to be that guy and be that guy. Nah, nigga, just be humble, bro. Cry, laugh, fucking smile, nigga. Love, live life. Laugh. You feel me? Do other shit, bro. Niggas don't have to always walk around, nigga, with the S on their chest. Niggas don't always have to motherfucking be super aggressive all the time, bro. It's okay, my nigga. It's okay. Whatever you going through, bro, if, you, if you're hurting, it's for anybody, nigga. It's for my family, it's my friend, anybody, nigga. If you're hurting, bro, it's okay to be like, you know what? I'm hurting, bro. You know what I'm saying? I'm feeling some type of way. You feel me? And I need real healing. I need support. I need love. I need care. You know what I'm saying? I, I want compassion. Because once you receive all of that stuff, bro, now you're starting to heal those wounds. You know what I'm saying? Now you're going to be able to give all of those things that you need. Once somebody gives those things to you, that's when the real healing begins. Now you can spread your motherfucking, you know what I'm saying? You can spread that shit out. And they always come back like a boomerang, nigga. What you throw out, nigga, it's going to come back to you like a boomerang, bro. So if you got nothing but hate on your heart, nigga, and aggression and all that shit, you throwing that shit out there, nigga. When they come back, nigga, check this out. You done threw all that shit out. That shit, nigga, that boomerang might be so heavy, nigga, that when they come back, it might knock you the fuck out, nigga, straight up. And it might hit some innocent motherfuckers in the way, nigga. You know what I'm saying? Some innocent bystanders, nigga, that just happened to get caught up, nigga. You know what I'm saying? And be in the way. It might hit them, too. Now, guess what you did? You know what I'm saying? You was the reason, nigga, why your motherfucking brother and sister, nigga, innocent motherfuckers that caught that wrath. Cause all that shit you just threw out, bro. All that anger, all that animosity. You feel what I'm saying? All that hate. Love yourself enough, nigga. Love yourself enough. Love yourself enough. To change the way someone else feels about themselves. You feel what I'm saying? Because see, we live in a motherfucking world where it's a monkey see, monkey do. Everybody want to do. Everybody want to be. Everybody want to act like the next motherfucker instead of being original and being themselves. You know what I'm saying? Adding their own little flavor to whatever, whatever. You know what I'm saying? Everybody got different personas though. But that's a natural persona. You don't have to try to be like, oh, I want to be like this nigga. I want to be like that nigga. Nigga, that's cool. That get all the girls. That get all the attention. That get all the money. No. It's not the way this shit work, bro. It's not the way this shit work. Don't forget where you come from. <laughs> like, you know what I'm saying? Don't forget where you come from. We be forgetting where we come from, though. You feel me? You know what I'm saying? Don't forget where you come from, man. You know what I'm saying? And how it started. Motherfuckers forget how they came into this world. Motherfuckers came into this world crying, bro. You feel me? Motherfuckers came into this world crying, wanting to be held. Wanting to feel loved. <laughs> like, mom, dad, love me, hold me. You feel me? That's how we came into the world, nigga. So don't you think that's how we should go out? Love, hold somebody. You feel me? Spread that positivity, man. That's why when I come on here, y'all niggas hear me all the time. I talk shit with the best of them, nigga. But guess what? I love you, though. I don't hate you. Because you don't think like me. But, nigga, you get disrespectful, nigga. It's easy to get disrespectful. <laughs> niggas ain't busting no grapes, though. I ain't busting no grapes. You feel me? That's not who I am, bro. If I have to do it, I will, but nigga, that's not who I am. I'm, niggas, I'm not about that life, bro. I got a fucking family, nigga. 
And shout out to my wife. Happy birthday, baby. Daddy love you. You know what I'm saying? And I'm going to see you in a matter of six to eight hours. And baby. perspective, you know what I'm saying, and show love, bro, and support, that's what I go on the motherfucking stream yard for, you feel what I'm saying, that's what I do it for, bro, I love my people, you know what I'm saying, I love all people, I love all people, I love my people, nigga, specifically my people, you feel me, so it's all love all the time, bro, I just want to let y'all know that it's okay to hurt, bro. If you need to cry, if you need to let something out, that's not being no punk, nigga. But we be, we don't know how to use our emotions. We don't know how to, you know what I'm saying, let our shit out the bag. When we let our emotions out the bag, it got to come with a lot of disrespect. But then niggas want to make a channel about love and positivity. But then you out here disrespecting your people. So how that work? Somebody tell me how it work, bro. That's all I want to know. You can tell me how that work, bro, then. I, nigga, I, I'll retire from the game right now. Period, point blank, nigga. I retire from the game and become a LeBron fan right now, nigga. And you, and you know how I feel about LeBron, nigga. I will retire from the game and become a LeBron fan, nigga. Period. If niggas tell me how that works, nigga, I will retire from the game right now. I'll wait. That's what I thought. So, y'all niggas need to understand, nigga, how this shit work about here, bro. That's all I want you to do. You feel me? Love on your peoples, bruh. It's okay to hurt, my nigga. It's okay. Like, you know what I'm saying? Just because somebody else is doing something, everything don't need a response or a reaction, bro. Niggas be waiting for the nigga. Uh, 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 Why well, you don't like uh, such and such? Why well, you don't like such and such? Niggas will come in my motherfucking shit, bro. All in my shit. And then, nigga, why well, you don't like such and such? I'm like, nigga, you don't even know because you're taking up for somebody that you don't even know. I have my reasons why I don't fuck with certain motherfuckers, bro. Because the energy is just different to me. Motherfuckers come into a stream yard just to troll and to just try to debate. You know what I'm saying? And say shit. And a lot of times, this shit just don't even be making no sense. I'll be like, nigga, do you hear what you're saying? Because in one stream yard, they'll say one thing. They'll hop to another stream yard and say something completely different. And then they'll go to another stream yard and just be silent. You know what I'm saying? And then they'll leave, and then they'll go to another stream yard and take what somebody else then said, nigga, and, and use their words as if they motherfucking feel like that when they really don't. I'm like, what we doing out here, my nigga? Think for yourself, bro. Niggas just be talking, bro. And then when a nigga wrong, oh, nigga, I got more money than you, though, nigga. Bet, bet, bet. Oh, nigga, go bet on FanDuel, nigga. Huh? What money got to do with an opinion, bro, or a perspective? I, I just don't understand, bro. Niggas ain't right about everything, bro. What the fuck? That, that's think about, it, bro. <laughs> hey, what the fuck are we doing, bro? You know what I'm saying? But that's all I really wanted to really wanted to talk to y'all about, man. You know what I'm saying? It's my badge, nigga. To get the fuck in this building. Thank you, God, for my job. I appreciate. it. I appreciate it, Lord. Be thankful, bro. See, niggas don't be thankful enough. Real easy, man. Smile, cry, laugh. Love, live life, bro. Love on your people, man. I'm gone. <laughs>